Hello, Jane Faye's here from Sydney, Australia. Well, I actually am back in Sydney now after a month long work trip. It was a bit longer than we had planned. And I am very thankful that I took my lunch box full of supplies. So I thought I'd just do a recap on some of the things I've created and my review of what I took. And to be honest, I'm pretty happy with what I took. I was able to use most things. Um, I, the, yeah, just, yeah, I was really happy and feel that I would t make a list of those things and, and pack them again next time I'm on the road. And I encourage you to do so as well. So here's uh, a couple of things that I created during that time. I did the magazine image transfers. So just also other things that I took during that time uh, were some vintage papers and uh, rust dyed papers. That supply did run a little bit low, but I was pretty happy with it. Um, and so that was those. I did take quite a bit of tissue, but that ran low. I was able to find an art supply store on my travels and top that supply up but have some mixed media board and I'm glad I had that with me. And then I did buy an extra magazine. So I had plenty of magazine images to work through. So, and um, something else I did purchase was just one of these really simple folders to keep all my uh, supplies flat and in one place as I traveled. So just working through a couple of the things that I did. I did my normal uh, magazine image transfers, uh, just in black on the tissue. And so that gave the potential to be used in a variety of collage uh, opportunities. And then on my walks, I started collecting leaves to go back into some nature printing, a mono printing on the gel plate. And so this was a dried um, palm frond actually. I quite liked that one. That turned out quite nicely. And then a few leaves. So there were some opportunities. It was quite a bit of nature around where we were. And so that gives you an idea of some of the prints that I had done with some natural found objects. And then I thought I'd actually try and combine the two. So then I was doing a gel print of a mag from the magazine and then over printing an image of a leaf as if she is sitting in the leaf. That one was probably the most successful. I didn't have time to develop that very much further. That one was looking good, but um, the leaf was uh, quite a transparent paint, so it didn't show up quite as well. And then I was experimenting with doing the image with some leaf prints over a book page as well. So they were some of the other things that I did on my travels. As you may have seen, I uh, just cleaning that off a bit. I carved these with an easy carve block and I had taken just this little set of carving tools and so I was able to, this was the size of the block, about that. Um, and I had cut it up into pieces and was uh, carving. That was the first one I carved, the second, third, and then fourth. And, um, and you yeah, know, they, they work well. I'll show you what I created with those. Lots of different collage fodder. So I was stamping directly onto tissue. Um, I was also stamping onto a gel plate. Beautiful, you know, unique mono printing from the gel plate is amazing. In gold, mixed colors, um, stamping positive and then removing. So 
positive and negative prints in those red and gold so this gave me quite a bit of collage material um, I quite like that in the gold a nice lot of collage material to use and that worked out to be a really nice repeat design and experimented a bit more so there that's what came out of my uh, easy carve print blocks and they, that was a stamp that I had taken as well so that came from that and then these were the two collages that I created uh, while I was out on the road so I made good use of I'll put them side by side hopefully you can see those uh, similar techniques where it's got a female portrait from the magazine image using quite a bit of vintage papers around and uh, rust dyed paper this was a my one of my own photos that's actually some tile work out of a church that I um, did a photo a laser print of and printed on the gel plate and um, so yeah there's a variety of vintage papers and then incorporating uh, these collage materials and elements that I uh, printed with this this um, stamp so yeah um, it has kept me busy I must admit I, this this was a nice um, meditative process it took a bit of time and it doesn't take up much space so I certainly want to explore that and using that in my collages and in gel printing as well so it's good to be back home back in my studio I'm looking forward to some time to do that we're actually in lockdown at the moment in Sydney so hoping for the next few days I will get a little bit more time to get creative and post some videos so thanks for that and we'll see you in the next video